Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scott here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. In today's episode, we return to the Skyland Fishing Cabin Project, where we are going to work on our front yard landscape, where we're going to build some custom trees and plants and all sorts of other great stuff. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back. And it's good to have you here for another super awesome Minecraft build. And let's just kill Squidward there. And in our previous episode, we built this amazing pathways and rivers and waterfalls you saw there in the intro kind of flowing down there looking super awesome. We've got a lot of cool little rock designs built up on the sides and some of the new coarse dirt, one of my favorite new blocks. And yeah, I think this place is starting to look really great. So the philosophy behind the design, of course, is kind of a rustic feel because this is kind of a modern mountain style house that we built out in the woods here for our fishing cabin thing and um, so I don't want the yard to be like a you know fancy lawns and stuff like that I want it to be like you know they put the house here they put in the path and left all the other uh, you know things like the rivers and the rocks and the trees all the same they scared me oh my gosh I did not oh my <laughs> that witch freaked me out. That is the scariest thing. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so scary. Just die. Go away. Bad. Bad witch. Oh my gosh. She just spawned here in the night. Or I mean in the day. Okay, well, whatever I was saying before, yeah, the, the design is um, rustic and something like that. That was scary. Oh, well, I hope everyone's having a good day today and uh, having a good uh, weekend. And I'm just going to put up a few blocks here. So what we're doing here is... That just threw me off so bad. <laughs> okay, so let's just concentrate. So what we're going to work on here is a super awesome tree. So we're just kind of building up the trunk here a little bit. And um, getting that all kind of settled down here a little bit. There we go. I'll probably even bring it down here just a bit right there. And it's always good to really build up your trunk. Really make the trunk feel like it's uh, holding up a good sized tree. There we go. Get that built up there. Wonderful. And let's start getting out some scaffolding a little bit. So we're going to start working down our scaffolding. So my tree plan here is to use the dark oak for just a different kind of feel for the tree. And then we're going to do a big one, a little overreach out here. We'll do, probably do an additional one here, maybe one out there. We'll do, if there's room, one here, which is looking unlikely. And then we'll do some across here and then do lots of cool plant life down there. I think that'll look all really sweet once we get it all get it all in there looking super snazzy. There we go. Get that in there. And how's the piece kind of come out over here? There we go. So just getting some bare, bare bones of the tree built up here. Just getting some of the, you know, just some of the basic um, trunks and branches kind of going out in different directions. There we go. Usually you can kind of refine a little bit more of the branches once you actually get some of the, the leaves, you know, built up here. But this is all gonna really make this place look really nice. So these trees, I like to call them scar trees. <laughs> that was creative. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just like to call them scar trees because they're not really anything in particular, any real particular species. They're uh, kind of an oak tree variant, so it's kind of an oak tree design. This house is kind of themed after a house. If I were a millionaire and I could build any cool kind of house I wanted, um, this house would be built somewhere, somewhere maybe in uh, Wyoming near... Uh, what's that place called? I completely, completely went mind blank there for a second. Um, get that there. It's right next to the Tetons. They call it Jackson Hole, Wyoming. That's what it is. Or it would be built um, somewhere next to Yosemite in California. So if I was a millionaire, and, well, I don't even know if a millionaire could build this house. This thing's kind of intricate. But um, it is. this is where I would build it. Those are the places. And it would be up there so that is good for there perfect get that filled in on the back side there we go perfect get that flowing there we go yeah so when you get going here just start randomly placing it try to keep things not super symmetrical and try to keep them you know one side maybe a little higher than the other and not to make it so uniform because you want these things to be kind of wild like they've been out in the woods you know nobody's tended to them with any trimmers and things of that nature so they're just kind of growing around and oh my gosh this is seriously going to rain for the rest of the episode <laughs> oh man 
All right, but we have a lot of work to do, so there'll be a lot of kind of cutting in and out, so we'll, we'll get rid of that rain soon by going to sleep. There we go, because we got a lot of trees to plant. We got a lot of trees. There we go. Yeah, I think this will look really nice. It'll hang over this section here, and I think it'll look really cool. There we go. So what's your dream house? I, I, I've always had a little dream house because I've loved building. I've loved building be far before Minecraft. I've always enjoyed design. and I mean, I, I designed my dream house when I was like, I, I think I was like 10 years old when I came up with what I called the pants house. It kind of had the same like layout as a pair of pants, but uh, it was a... Uh, Kind of a log type cabin and I even got a CAD program where I drew out all the blueprints for the house and I put them up on my wall and they were my that was my dream house. I was gonna have that out by Yellowstone and it was gonna be my dream house. I still love that house. I wish I could find the, the actual plans for it. If I had them I would post them. I would post them on Twitter or something. I would uh, show you guys but I don't know where those could possibly be. But I came up with it when I was swimming. And it's a funny thing about swimming is when I was in swimming, I um, I used to you know daydream like crazy because we would have long sets, like super long sets, especially on a Saturday morning, we would have these 10,000 or more yard sets and they could last two, two and a half hours or something along those lines. And you know, you just, your mind just wanders around when you're swimming like that for so long. And uh, I used to come up with theme park rides and house designs and things like that. I guess that's maybe that's where a lot of my Minecraft inspirations have come from, you know, those long sets. But one particular swimming session that we would do was pulling. So what you do is you'd put like a like a, a buoy of some kind in between your legs and that would prevent you from kicking. So you would work on your stroke more. You'd focus more on your stroke and technique and different things like that. But for some reason, I don't know why, but when, when I would be doing that set, I would come up with my best ideas. Something about not kicking, you know, whether you're swimming, for some reason that was like the most peaceful thing. Like you just kind of swim along, pulling along, and it is a great place to come up with ideas. And I used to come up with some of my best like roller coaster designs for roller coaster tycoon or house things when I would be swimming, especially pulling sets. And uh, that's where I came up with the pants house. That's where I came up with the pants house. I was thinking in my head of like how I would lay out a kitchen and the kitchen would kind of be near the zipper. <laughs> so the zipper would be the staircase. And then, um, and then behind the zipper would be kind of the kitchen and the legs would be the, you know, on the first story would be, one would be like the dining room and the other one would be a living room. And now one day I was like looking at it and I was like, wait a second, this is a pair of pants. <laughs> so that's, that's the pants house. So I used to get some of my best inspiration when I would just be swimming, you know, doing my pulling and get my buoy there and just head off onto another, you know, long set. You know, probably 45 or about half an hour set of uh, back and forth on our, probably was back mostly 25 meters then, indoor pool. And uh, yeah, just set off and work on my stroke, kind of, pretty much not focusing on that, but working on my designs in my head and stuff. If I could swim, I would love to just get it, you know, do that, you know. I bet I could come up with some cool Minecraft designs. But um, yeah, all right, there we go. Look at that. That looks super snazzy. It's just adding and continuing more and more layers of uh, design on top of our landscape out here. When we started here, we just had a pathway, then we added the rivers, we added the uh, the small like coarse dirt, the rocks, now the trees, it's starting to really come out awesome. So give me one second, let me kind of catch my breath, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So we had a lightning storm. I was ready, I found a creeper, but no avail. We got nothing for it, unfortunately. So no creeper head yet. So eventually, hopefully we can get some mob heads. All right, so, we are now going to move on from that tree, which is looking super snazzy, to over here. So this tree over in this section, I'm not sure, you know, I don't want it to be super big. I don't want it to be, you know, overshadowing anything too much in this spot, which you definitely could if we're not careful. So we're going to be careful. We're going to be careful. We're going to, you know, not make this thing super big. So we're just going to kind of have it kind of go up here like so. So we're just trying to build up this trunk a little bit. This side down here, we might actually remove this branch or this uh, root system there and actually extend the roots in this direction. So we might do that, we'll see. Uh, and we'll build that up to there. And let's see, I'm gonna move over to this section and I'm just gonna drop down and I'm just going to try to decide. I don't want this to be big. So I'm gonna go like that, actually. I'm gonna go like this. Do that one more. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna go.
go like that. So something like that, all right? We'll probably remove some of this extra, you know, um, branches down here as we kind of build it up a little bit. But for the most part, I don't want it to be super big. And I think that's a pretty good root system. It'll hang over this section kind of how I want it to. And um, yeah, I think mean, it'll look pretty good. So I was thinking, so what are you, what are your guys, some of your inspirations for coming up with ideas? You know, I talked about how I came up with some of my older ideas back in the day. Um, you know, designs and different things like that. But how do you get your inspiration for Minecraft builds and stuff? Some of my, so I'll tell you a few of my ideas, or at least how I've come up with some, is one of the most simple things is just pointlessly like riding around in the car, looking out the window and looking at houses and studying their roof lines. So sometimes, you know, when you want to, you know, come up with inspiration for a build or some kind, um, just driving around, especially in older neighborhoods with some kind of nice older houses. So if you drive in, into one of those neighborhoods and you kind of like look at some of the uh, architectural styles and different things like that and break down the house into just very small boxes and then try to incorporate that into Minecraft. So look at it and kind of say, all right, so the house has a lot of triangles and different things, but really those are all eventually made out of type of boxes. So there's kind of a little box here, there's a long rectangle box, and then try to kind of incorporate that into Minecraft form or something along those lines. At least that's how I do it sometimes. And then, you know, go home, open up a creative flat world or something like that. Kind of mess around with designs and shapes. Most likely you'll probably not get something you like right off the bat, but eventually you'll probably get some practice and fall to your death a couple times like I did there. And, um, you know, you'll see something. You'll start to see a pattern of design come through and you're like, oh, look at that. I tried this, I tried that, and hey, maybe I can incorporate that in this form of a build or that type of a build and uh, eventually start kind of come up with um, ideas. So, you know, if you see a house and you know, you, you can recreate it or something along those lines, but what's best to do is to kind of look at it, study it, and then figure out how to make your own from that design, you know, incorporate maybe a small section of that roof in a larger build you're working on or something like that. That's at least how I started to kind of learn how to make roofs a little bit better and to Let's see, I just want to wrap that around. I think that might be a little too far. But um, yeah, that's how I worked on roofs. I was struggling with roofs for so long. And then I just kind of studied real houses and was able to kind of come up with a good design. All right, so I'm going to continue to fiddle with this tree. And I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And look at that tree looking super snazzy there. And what I like about it is that it kind of covers up the house a little bit. It kind of creates a little bit of mystery. So, you know, it covers up this section and you come, you know, come down here on our future bridge and you look at it and you're like, oh, sweet. And then you kind of follow this pathway over here and kind of turn into there. And I just think that looks kind of cool. I like having the houses sometimes kind of obstructed in certain ways and it kind of creates a sense of mystery. All right, so let's get out a few other materials and let's see, get rid of that for a minute. And uh, we're just going to try to add a little bit more environment to the area. So let's just add a couple of these guys around here and we'll just pop them up. There we go. And we can just add a little bit of grass here like so. And we can just add this around here like that. Looking super snazzy already. There we go. Put that like that. Some of this will be changed when we actually build the bridge, but um, yeah, I like this kind of wild nature to it. I'm not gonna put any flowers down uh, at the start here because uh, I have some ideas for those and I wanna be real subtle with the flowers because they're more like wild flowers or something that's growing up around this area. So we, that's where we're using some of the ferns and stuff like that. There we go. And for scale, we'll probably do a small one there and maybe just a little bit of grass. Oh, look at how nice that looks. Very, very cool. All right, good, I like that so far. It's actually coming out quite nice. So I was thinking maybe do a small tree that overhangs here, possibly. I think that might be nice. So I'll probably refrain from putting any more, um, too much landscaping on that side over there. Probably do maybe a, just a small one there. Maybe a big one, right? You know what, a big one would look excellent like right there. So I'm just gonna knock that out, put that right there, and place a fern like so, beautiful. All right, I really like how this is starting to kind of come together. It's really got that kind of feel, that uh, kind of that mountainy feel finally to the area. It's amazing that this area in Scarland was pre was pre tall grass. So this area was generated in um, early 2011. So this is a pretty old section of Scarland through here, and it's uh, 
It's amazing, you know, the changes that Minecraft has had since then. Look, look at this. We're putting like ferns down and we got like ice as windows. It's crazy. But um, yeah, so let's see about this area. Let's put a couple of them here. Um, I don't, you know, I've always liked pod soil a little bit. You know, I liked it, but I think the, uh, the coarse dirt is a better alternative to it. And plus, I don't have any uh, uh, pod soil in Scarland because I have yet to find one of those biomes yet in it. So maybe part of our adventures, we'll probably find them, hopefully. All right, good, I like that so far. I think that's really nice. So look at this, we could probably put some uh, some grass in here. No flowers yet, no flowers yet. I said no flowers, there we go. Look at that, looking really nice so far. So I think we could, we could do some uh, wildflowers in here. I think that'll look pretty cool. And um, yeah, get that down there like so. And um, yeah, so let's sleep the night away and get rid of this night time. All right, look at that. I put in another tree over there and this thing is starting to come out super cool. So let's fly on over here and take a look at that. Now I was thinking for this section over here, the small tree we talked about, um, I think I'm gonna probably not do that because look at this. So if we're standing here on the pathway, we could see the waterfall coming down. If we put a tree there, it might block it and not look that great. So I think we'll uh, maybe skip that for now, but we, we might do it in the future. We'll see, we can always add it in the future. But um, I'm just gonna make some plants now. So we're just gonna try to uh, build up a little bit of plants. I like using the, uh, the jungle for this because it just has a nicer kind of plant feel. I like to stick in a few extra you know, um, you know, leaves just as kind of filler leaves along here, just a little bit. There we go, put that there, because jungle leaves are a little bit hard to come by. Okay, and now we'll just stick a couple of these guys right over here, and we can stick in maybe just a couple additional guys like that. There we go, perfect. Very good, all right, I love it. I love how this is all kind of finally kind of coming together, no thank you. And um, I think this is starting to look very good, no thanks. I do not want to do your yellow flowers. Please go away, thank you. And put some right there. This spot looks pretty blank, but uh, we'll work on that part a little bit later. All right, flower-wise, actually the flowers we're gonna use, I think we're gonna use some of these guys. These have a little bit more wild kind of nature to them a little bit, and they look a little bit more like something you'd probably find out in the wild with some wildflowers. So I think that looks pretty good. So let's run on over here. See how I did this pretty subtle? I wanted to introduce a little color with the orange, so I just put them up there, put a few white flowers to complement them, and um, yeah, look at that. That looks pretty nice over here. I added some additional ones of our bushes there, so I thought we could do the same over here a little bit. And I feel like one would look great right there. There we go, perfect, perfect. And I think one additional one right there. Let's actually knock that off, kind of a waste, but I like to put one below it. I think that looks kind of cool too. And let's see, knock you out, put you right there. And yeah, look at that. That's starting to look pretty good. We are really getting there now. This thing is starting to come together, looking super snazzy. Okay, and then let's fly over here for a second and put a few of them here. Yeah, so sometimes I like to put, you know, an additional one under it, but if you're starting to come into constraints of how many leaves you have left, and then I kind of, you know, start kind of scale back a little bit on that. There we go. All right, so back in this corner over here, if we're not going to do the thing I was thinking about, why don't we just try a couple color flowers back here and then we'll kind of mix in a few of the white ones. There we go, put one right there. Nice, nice, then that looks good. It kind of disperses it so it's not like a big like splash of color somewhere and it looks a little off. So just a little subtle color in that section looks wonderful, very good. So you can see over in this area, it's a little plain, but we'll work on that when we get to the waterfall. And um, yeah, so let's work on this backside here just a little bit more because this spot's a little bit plain. So we'll get rid of our flowers, we'll get this out. I'm still thinking about putting an additional tree up here that will kind of overhang this area. So overhang where the squid is down to there. But um, we'll work on that maybe in a live stream. We'll work on that a little bit later. I just want to kind of feel all this area will fill in once we get the uh, once we get in the bridge. There we go. Just a few extra pieces here. Nice, wonderful, good. All right, awesome, awesome. We are nearly there. We have nearly completed a super awesome build here. I said none of your yellow flowers in this area. They just don't look well. There we go. <laughs> These dandelions are everywhere. 
All right, awesome. Let's take a look at how that looks from over here. Oh, awesome, beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's three more dandelions up there. They're just growing in like weeds. Awesome, this is starting to look really good. Look at this. Oh, it feels just how I envisioned, you know, this area to look, having that slight wild nature to it and uh, not like a clean manicured design. I love it, I love it. Hand of pears, I'm gonna fall to my death. I wanted to go up there and put in some more plants, but unfortunately it doesn't want me to. It just wants to kill me. Well, thank you. <laughs> there we go. All right, I say that is awesome. And what do you guys think? Do you think we've got something pretty cool here? I think so. Let's just take away all the clutter and look at this. Oh, it looks amazing. Well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scott. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you next time. Opened up the, the floodgates of awesomeness on this update. And uh, we've got some really cool stuff. So I'm pretty excited about the future of what we have planned and different things like that for our Minecraft adventures. All right, so I think our pathway is starting to look good. So things like this, you know, we could take that out or mix in a few other patterns here or there.